Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. Kevin here, top one financial advisor. And best-selling author. We are here to talk about the stock market. Today, I want to give you a little bit of a sneak peek into Enphase. That stock symbol is E-N-P-H, and it's a company that y'all wanted me to break down. And I see why. So I had not heard of the company before y'all had brought it up, started to look into it. And the first thing I noticed was obviously it's up 46% in the last six months. Uh, last I checked, it's still 2022. And outside of oil and gas, it ain't much that is doing this well. If I look at the last year, they're up about 76%. So you caught my attention. Now, my first thought was, oh, this has to be, this has to be a penny stock. I've never heard of this company. It's got to be sketchy. There's no way I would even consider breaking the company down in front of 4,000 people. Or there's no way I would even consider putting my own money into it. Now I started reading up on it, started learning more. And uh, my opinion has shifted on this particular issue. So number one, they're inside the S&P 500. I had mentioned that before, um, but that gives me a little bit of a vote of confidence. Now, not everything I invest in has to be in the S&P 500. It doesn't have to be, but for you to be one of the largest 500 companies in the United States, you gotta be legit. And they obviously are. So I'm gonna go over a few things that stood out to me. I'll also let you know, I did a full breakdown inside the members only including going over their balance sheet in detail, going over their revenue statements, like how much money they brought in, their income statements, and what I particularly, what stood out to me financially for them. And I also gave a price point. So if I were looking to get into it, when and at what price would I do that? That's all inside the members only right now, okay? All right, so here's what you need to know about Enphase and some things that stood out to me. All right. Number one, what do they do? They are a technology company primarily focused on solar energy. Now, the definition that I read yesterday was way too convoluted. The more I read into it, particularly from Morningstar and other um, other sites, they just say that they're a tech company. Uh, it's in phase energy focused on solar energy. They do solar panels and they create what are called micro inverters. The micro inverters, which I did not know when I read the first definition, but again, I told you I need time to learn about it, right? Um, but this is essentially the brain, uh, the brains of these solar panels. Panels. It takes in the energy, figures out where to put it, store it, use it, all that type of stuff. That is what they're very good at. The thing about this is they are moving and really focusing on uh, homes. That's where, they, that's where they want to put these solar panels on every home if, if possible. 80% of the revenue comes from the United States that may or may not have risk depending on how you feel about that. The other thing that stood out to me, they are extremely sound financially. They have way more in assets. Well, let me not say way more. They have more in assets than they do in liabilities, which is not a common case uh, with a lot of tech companies, especially those that are trying to grow their profits and really become a lot more profitable. If you look at their financial statements, you'll start to notice that in terms of net income, the, the money you make after you've paid all the bills, for a lot of tech companies, it's quite negative and it's deep in the red for quite a while. We talked about Snapchat and others that ain't doing so well. They are losing money year after year and they're slowly trying to close that gap and start to become profitable. Tesla was one that, that didn't become profitable until like 2019, maybe even 2020 or 2021. It was relatively recent. They have been losing money for the better part of a decade. Well, in phase is in this in a profitability phase. It started becoming profitable in 2019. And that stands out because in a situation and environment of where we are right now, where we are passing more green energy bills, we're looking to be more conscious about the environment. People are going solar, going electric. People are supposed to be moving towards electric cars. I think that is pretty inevitable. I mean, California passed a bill where you can't buy any new gas powered vehicles after a certain year. So this is going to be a thing. And I think that if you were to invest in it, I can see it. I think it makes sense. And I think the business case, the environmental case, uh, the society case of where we're just moving our focus definitely makes sense in a time like this. What are the risks here? These are the risks. So Obviously, any investment is going to have risk. That's obvious. But when it comes to revenue, if you go back over the last 10 years, their revenue can be as high as 70 or 80 million, and then the very next year be down to like 9 million. That's a significant drop. So you do want to be careful if you're looking to invest in something like this. 
like anything honestly though um but and i've i've said this before too you want to you know kind of give yourself a cap whether it's five percent that's my cap or whatever cap you want to say like hey i've gotten enough i want to reduce my risk here but i do want to expose myself to a company that i think is good and if you want to do that for m phase you're more than welcome to do so um would i invest in it i i think i would I would. Now, the reason I'm personally not making this move is because it is not December yet. And y'all know how my investing process goes. I wait six months. I make those changes and let those six months ride out and then come back and make some evaluations. In phase will be on my watch list. And if things continue to go well, I will be considering adding it to my portfolio because I don't think I have enough energy, especially green energy in my portfolio at all. So I definitely want to keep it on my personal watch list. But as a whole, and I've said this inside the members only, if I were to give this a grade of one to 10, 10 being like absolute saying duck, I have to have it. I'm putting this at an 8.5. I, from what I read, and I'm really impressed by their financials, this seemed like a very solid company. It is not a perfect company, but it seems to be very solid. One concern here, two concerns actually, now I'm thinking about it. One concern is that uh, I didn't see any insider buys recently. Um, that's not that's not a red flag, but it ain't a green flag. Okay, I'm, I'll just put it like that. I love companies where I can see that the CEO just bought yesterday. Oh, I'm going in, right? That that. That's it. I want to go in when they get in. I haven't really seen them make um, any significant purchases. Now, I could ar also argue that, you know, it's up 70 some odd percent. So if anything, I'm taking some little gains off the table and say, look, you know, I might sell a little bit because I've already profited 70 something percent. Yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. Um, so again, so that's, that's why it's not a red flag, um, but it's not a green flag for me to just like abandon everything and, and jump into the company. The other part too is from what I'm seeing, they're not, they don't have like a moat. They're not special. The performance is special. How they deal with their money is special, but it seems to be a commodity, which means that somebody who could be, and these all, you know, air quotes, uh, somebody could come along and do a lot better than them and pose a, a major threat. That has not happened from what I have seen, but they don't have a a thing that makes them special and far apart where it's like yeah it's gonna be a while before you kind of catch up to us i could argue that google or even amazon could have one of the the best widest moats out there where it's like yeah it's gonna be real hard to come up with a competitor to google like you got bing but you're not really using it like that right you could argue uh you know the moat between TikTok and youtube that that might be eroding to a degree but like gmail if you're not using gmail what are you using right now like, don't nobody like Outlook? You only do it because of work. Um, and so when we talk about moats, um, kind of going back to the main topic here, they don't really seem to have that. So that is a concern. It is not a perfect company, okay? And it can be volatile. This year has been great. I, I can't tell you, I can't tell you if any stock is gonna be great over the next five years, but I think they have the they have the basis they have the bones they've got the money they've got the the environment it makes sense to invest in um the only thing that i wish i would have had other than the insider buying is just more general knowledge about this particular field which is why i'm putting it on my watch list because by putting it on my watch list now in september that's going to give me another three months to learn and read up on the company to feel a lot more comfortable about it so if you are somebody that enjoys this information you too should put it on your watch list and start to continue to read that's what i'm going to do i'll be a lot more confident when it's time for me to make an investing decision you don't have to make one right now right you can you can wait and when you feel comfortable and when you feel like you've learned enough, then you can make a decision as well. But if you want to learn more about this company, check out the members only. I did a full breakdown. I went through all the financial statements to show you what stood out to me and how I kind of view it and what I think about it. And if you are ready to buy today, if you wanted to buy today, which is your decision and not mine, I picked out a price point in which if I were buying today, what I would do. So you definitely want to check out the members only full video there. And that is it for us today. I will see everybody on Monday. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.